that's your thing. So you can actually work on it like this. Feel the left shoulder push the left arm back. Grab it with the right arm. Just turn it to the top without feeling any extra arm swing. And now you're right in position to be where you need to. Yeah. Push it away. Yep. Oh, God. That was so good, dude. The one big thing that we worked on with the wedges, that remember, remember shortening the arm swing? Yeah. Keeping it a lot significant. Turning sig my shoulder. Sh down. Turning the shoulder down more and then getting the arms more connected and not feeling the arms get wrapped behind you as your shoulder yeah, got flatter. I feel like my wedges, I never get long enough to like go to my like narrow, flat shoulder laid off tendency. Yep. Like I can only take it to here. So right. That's where I'm good and then I go. Exactly, and that's where I was. I, I, I'm looking forward when to I get seeing. To like an eight iron, and I just get a little bit back there. Then that's where it comes through. So that's we're gonna work on today. Like. Now we're gonna work on that today. We're gonna nail that. Yeah. So for our viewer, we were working on really shortening his arm swing in his previous session with his wedges because that was his biggest issue at the time. And he, he, he bombs it, so he's got a lot of wedges in. And uh, shortening the arm swing, but making sure his body had a full turn to that point, keeping the hands in front of the chest. And that's what he's doing well now. So he can feel through that connection that he rotates and doesn't have the club face moving through impact. And, then you, and you called it. That's totally the tendency of yours, yeah. though. You get the longer club out, gets up here, it looks good. It gets a little bit lifty, you know, and right there, and it just gets behind. Yeah. We're gonna work on that today, though. Yeah. I have a couple good feels that we'll knock out here in a sec. Get a um, just get the eight iron out right away. Let's right. let's get that dialed in. Kind of thin that a little bit. Mm-hmm. There, see, and it goes. Oh, for sure, and it just drops right. Yeah. It drives me crazy. It's still, I mean, it's it's. And then still. it goes right that right arm. Kind of flips it a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen, always I have to remind you, it's still a very good golf swing. We just need to get. Here, here's what I want to see. We need to get the arm, that right arm. Just propped up there a little bit more. Yeah. Right, and just not have it so narrow and in, in here. And that's where with the driver and longer clubs oh. too, when it gets narrow and behind, yeah. like it's almost like so much lag, you don't even know what to do with it. You know what I mean? And it's just, can... so here's the big thing. Let's really work on your right arm. Let's really work on the feeling you have with your left shoulder to get your hands and club back there. So if we did this in two parts, right? What each arm has to do. Let's talk about the left arm. Pushing it away. I love the look here of having my shoulders perpendicular to where my hands are. Do you see that? Yeah. And from there, you would just a little bigger turn, a little bit bigger turn, but watch what that looks like. Here, you know, and then watch. Boom, a little more turn. See how it just props it right up? Oh, yeah. So it's gonna feel higher, but it's not disconnected. It's just more with the center of your body and not actually narrowing out and getting behind you. From the face on view, what that'll look like is it just looks like the arm wraps across the chest a little bit, yeah. rather than maintaining a little bit of, a little bit more of that width. That's what we're gonna look for. So I think two parts of it, pushing the left arm away, creating that set with the handle, like we talk about pushing away on the handle, that'll put your right arm, look at this, more narrow and next to your left and not like this. Do you see that? Yeah. This right here going back. That's what kills me with the driver. Goes like this and then it's behind and then boom. And here's the crazy thing from the view of the camera uh, down the line, you see your club still crawls down the yeah. forearm, so it looks visually good, yeah. but your hands are behind your body. Yeah. And that's why, oh, why I get that. All right, so here's the big thing. If we, can get, if we can get the feeling down of left arm pushing away, right arm extended more, keeping that brace, we're gonna see a lot more success. So I just wanna feel push away on the handle, elbow together, feel like it gets higher up there, right? And you know, you're talking to somebody also who always worked on keeping the elbow down, but the big thing is I don't want it getting in close. The in close is where that club gets lower like this. 
and it doesn't have that width that we're looking for. Right. So really it's about making sure the left shoulder pushes the club back, the right arm's out reaching for it. That keeps the arms closer together and you maintain that to the top. Yeah. So let's get that feeling down, okay? Let's do it. I did come knowing what we were working on though because I know you're swinging. Do you send enough of them so I can push, push, forget the right arm for a second. Take it off the club. Now push it away and straighten that arm in exactly. Now that's as far away from you as you can get. Yeah. Now reach your right arm out to it. See, and these two should feel like they're, you know, just pinched together. Yeah. And then what's cool is you would just turn this and you see how that supports it right there? Yeah. That would be what we need to work towards. The triangle's not kind of down narrow, it's more up there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here's what I would, here's what I would tell you. Why don't you give me the Hideki Matsuyama and just do, push it away, yep. Oh, God. That was so good, dude. I just do that on like, I'm gonna show up to the Cal Am, you're just gonna be straight Hideki the whole time. Yeah. Do you know anything about that golf course? The, uh, the preserve? Oh, I know it's like really good, I've never played it though. Dude, apparently like from the front gate, it's like, it's 20, like 20, 20 minutes to get up to the clubhouse. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. That was so much better, buddy. So, hey, make sure you do it as much as possible. I don't care where you hit this one. I want to see you really get the left arm extended away. Right arm closer to your left arm. Really get it way up there. There you go. Oh. What did that do to the ball flight immediately? <laughs> it doesn't go left anymore. Just shot it right. Yeah, exactly. So this was the first one on the right. That's the fair top, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Look at look look, look at the difference though on these two. So you know this one's really underneath your shoulder plane over here, and the elbow's just in my opinion just too narrow. This one has left arm and the shoulder plane much more matching, and you can see that the elbow's still underneath your shoulder, but you got that triangle just a little bit more definitive up there, and all it means is that your hands are just a little higher, which is something that you needed because that just means that the arms are not getting narrow from this angle yeah. and they're just staying a little more out away from you which is going to help free up your downswing yeah. that's why you didn't have any extra hand action on the on those last couple shots why they all went higher and straighter yeah that's i mean that's the feel yeah. and here's the thing think about why on the short ones dude you, you go like this guaranteed this is what happens because i'm guilty of it when i played too is this feel right here we shorten it to hit the little knockdown our body turn shortens, but then what happens? The arms still fold, yeah. and, you're just, and, you're, and you're done. You're, you're, you're done, yeah, you're just right here. They fold alongside you, and then it just becomes, you know, just toss them by you, right? And it starts left, goes left. So watch, when I hit those knockdown shots, it's more all chest, no hands. See that right there? And that just keeps it right out in front of you. So, yeah, and that's what we're gonna work on. You wanna feel really dead-handed, feel like there's no extra hands in that swing, it's all body, almost Steve Stricker feeling. Yeah. As you're pushing away on the handle to create a little leverage, that'll be money. Give it a pause on this one. Yeah, I think you gotta at least do five or six for me where you just go full Hideki, get it up to that big tall position. There you go. Oh. I just like how it does it like, it just leaves it over here, right? Yeah. Naturally, because you're not even worried about the downswing there. It just Natural yeah, takes out left. Like Here's what I would tell you though, knowing you and your tendency, this has been your thing, yeah. right? So just know that it really is a function of what your arms do relative to your body's turn. Yeah. Your left one is simply being pushed back, staying very low with the handle by the left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Your right one is just along for the ride and reaching out to it. It would be in the right spot. Notice how the elbow tucked is simply just tucked closer to your left arm, not tucked to your body. Right. So when I, people refer to elbow tucked, not here. That's, that's, that's no bueno, right? It's behind. Here. And then watch. That's what props it up with, as you turn, but it's still in front of your chest, and then right back in front of your body. So yeah. that's, that's, the, that's the gold right there. That's your thing. So you can actually work on it like this. Feel the left shoulder push the left arm back, grab it with the right arm, just turn it to the top without feeling any extra arm swing and now you're right in position to be where you need to.
Mm. Totally different shot trend, huh? Yeah. Okay, now, now put it all together. Put it all together where you just feel it all the way up there. Don't let that right arm get closer to you and have more bend. Feel like it stays the same exact position the whole way as it started. It's like you're kind of rotating here, gripping the club all the way up without changing it. That was way better at the top, buddy. And I think the biggest thing now is gonna be just just stay down through it better. Yeah. Seriously, I know you're still hitting good contact, but I wanna see you keep that chest down and just rotate. How about that? That was super pure. It's exactly what we're looking for. That was right down the line. It's really good. And we're almost there. And you know, here's the thing. Much better at the top. I want to get rid of that club getting this way. Oh, I hate that. Right, yeah, me too. So here, here's what I want you to do. From here, right here, much more like lock this in and just feel much more body, mm -hmm. body, 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 right? Like it's, it's a combination of this. Arms, chest separating and the club just goes like that yeah. versus the big turn up to the top and it moving down with the chest. Yeah. Okay. That's when it gets behind me. That's all it is. And all I want you to know is for players who do that, it's common. I see it a lot. Good players do it too. Yeah. Like good players. It goes like this. Yeah. Versus what would be the opposite? Like tugging the shaft, yeah. actually steeping it out and like not do that. Yeah. So I would think that's important to understand you need a little more of that, right? Which is just more keep these two together so they don't separate to the top and then move it down in front of your chest. You'll see that club start moving up and down the same path. I'll tell you this, the Hideki, the Hideki's that Gabe got you, on that you can watch those back when this when this airs, yeah. and you know what's cool? You didn't have that. Yeah, I know. it's not. It doesn't happen on the Hideki. It yeah. only happens. So that tells you something about rhythm in transition, yeah. and and really getting up there and, and it and not being. I've always had that transition that goes. And that needs to be something that you work at. Gets, yeah. I would I would just go like this. Rather rather you know, yeah the real drill is 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 like this where it takes forever, and then you go. Right, that's the drill, but there's no reason why you can't do one where you just go. Right, yeah. that was just the barely. I felt like I barely paused, where I looked like to you guys that that was pretty just normal. Yeah. Felt like, but I could feel like the club was being directed and I had control of it in transition. I phrased this to another gentleman earlier today. I think this is a good thing for every golfer to ask themselves. For me in transition, I've worked hard at this though. Like I've tried to feel it because I know it's a key part of the swing. It's a key part of the swing where people get disconnected. Things are moving up and away from each other. I make sure that I'm using my transition to take control of the club face, not to feel like I lose it. Yeah. And most people I can probably tell you have no awareness of where that club is in transition. That's something you want to practice and work yeah. towards. So when you're in here, what I was able to feel in those drills is I was able to feel like I definitively had control of the club to the top and it moved down with me in transition. And you just own where that club face is and it starts to become pretty repetitive, yeah. okay? It's so nice right there. It's got a great swing. <laughs> you guys wanna hear something really funny? So every Saturday of like, I would say from June, or end of May probably to, to end of summer, there's a wedding here. Do you guys know how many pictures that I, wedding pictures that I've been in over the years? I mean, I'm back here, the poor Zach golf umbrella's up, we're hanging out, you know, and it's always my players. And it's so funny because I'm watching all these pictures being taken and I am their backdrop. <laughs> I mean, now there's like a lot of other pretty stuff out here too, but it's pretty funny because we're kind of front and center back here. But um, yeah, I mean, pretty much come for a lesson after 2 p.m. and you have a little bit of a party every single time you're out here. Yeah, a little 
hopefully the top of my backswing looks good in those pictures. <laughs> no, you know it's tough, dude? It's on a bad angle. It's on a real bad angle for you. All you're seeing is this. So even when it looks good, it's going to look way over there. You need this angle right here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.